What's up guys, it's Friday night. We're gonna unbox some packages. We got this month's Super Six Sack. I ordered $200 worth of Six Cents Baits. We're gonna crack off into all this, check it out. Also, I have a Lost Chad Shad update for you. Let's do it. Hello and welcome, what's up everybody? Thank you for clicking on the video. We go ahead and get off into this unboxing. First things first. Up top, a while back, I asked you guys what line I should be using. And a lot of you guys came at me with the Seaguar. So I grabbed some 25 pound Seaguar Abrazex, 100% fluorocarbon. Just as this line got delivered, I watched a video from a buddy Ben Milliken where he was using this exact line and he lost his hinkle. Lost his hinkle shad using this exact line right here. The struggle is real out there throwing these big swim baits, man. This fluorocarbon is sketchy. Speaking of broken fluorocarbon, speaking of lost swim baits, let's just talk really quickly about the lost chad shads. I know you guys are wondering why you're not seeing me out there with a scuba diver or dragging that magnet around, like I said. Well, I'm just gonna tell you guys, I went out there with a scuba diver. We took the magnet over there to the chad. I took the cameras, the cameras were rolling. We went out, we gave it a valiant effort and guess what guys, we came up short, just short of the goal line. The scuba diver and our lonely little magnet were unable to locate the Chad Shad. This is what we found out while we were over there. So I went out with the scuba diver, took the cameras, cameras were rolling, strapped up with the GoPros, everything's going good. I go pick him up, he's got the full gear, wetsuit, two oxygen tanks, he's down there, I'm filming, we're over there forever. Well it seems like forever he's down there looking for that Chad. No dice guys. No dice. And what we learned while he was down there, he came up and he told me a few things. He said that one, it's about two feet of straight mud. Apparently I found the only spot on my lake that's just solid mud. He was coming up out of the water and you could see on his wetsuit, the mud had, was like up past his knees where he was down there on the bottom trying to find that Chad. He also told me that there's a bunch of debris from dock construction, nuts, bolts, pieces of metal. He's like, dude, you're gonna drag that magnet around forever and you're gonna find everything but that Chad Shad. That's where we're at with the Chad scuba diver. Couldn't find it, the magnet uh, sort of felt like uh, looking for a needle in a haystack, to be honest with you. So I don't know, that's where we are. Probably still do some magnet fishing and try to find something cool, but nothing yet. We were unable to locate the Chads. That's the Chad Shad update, I'm sorry that uh, you guys didn't get to see some awesome scuba diving, magnet fishing videos yet. Um, you know, I was hoping that when I took that old boy out that he would be able to go down and come up with that chat and we would get it all on camera and it would just be an epic moment. But I'll be honest with you, I went and I reviewed the footage and it's just, I don't even think it's worth posting because I mean, it's like lackluster. It's anticlimactic if that makes sense. Like I could post the video, you guys would watch it and then like what, at the end nothing happens. Like, yeah, we, we didn't find it. So that's where we are. There's an update on the Chad. You guys let me know what you think. Let me know if you still wanna see me go drag that magnet around and pull up a bunch of mud and trash. So now I don't even know what to think. Obviously Ben was fighting a giant fish in that video and stuff just happens, but you know, it's quite a coincidence that I just happened to go with this one. And then today I watch a video, somebody losing an extremely rare and expensive swim bait on this exact line, but oh well. I think I'll probably spool it up anyway, give it a shot. Obviously, the sun line isn't working out for us, at least not with the chads. So there's that, moving on. Let's go ahead and crack off into this month's Super Six Sack. You guys know the deal, Super Six Sack. Fishing Christmas, 12 months out of the year. Best monthly bait subscription service in the game. It's a box full of baits from Six Cents, delivered to your doorstep. Build your tackle collection, your tackle wall, your tackle pile, tackle mile from home without ever having to leave the house. Leaves you more time to spend down there by the water, chunking heaters into the faces of some fat girls. So I've been enrolled in the Super Six Sack for quite a while now. It's awesome. Never a disappointment. Always have a blast opening up the Super Six Sack with you guys. And I'm looking forward to seeing what we got this month. This is the October 2021 Super Six Sack Premium Edition. Let's check it out. I'm a day late on this, man. My bad, guys. Day behind. Normally, I like to film these right when I get them. I actually got this yesterday, but here we are. Check out the freaking green sack. That is sick. That's the bones. The hunter green with the gold. Dude. Kicking it off right. 
Don't have that one yet. Stoked on that. As always, Super Six Sat coming in these nice drawstring pouches. Just a little extra touch from Six Cents. Not cardboard paper, but something you can actually get some use out of. Put some of your Christmas gifts in this holiday season. Let's check it out, see what we got. Off rip here this month in the Super Six Sat. The Hog Walla Watermelon Red Killer Creature Bait right here. Also, Killer Carolina Rig Bait. It's like a little lizard creature bait hybrid. A lot of action, a lot of appendages, a lot of tentacles, big tails and legs. A lot of stuff going on there. Really like this bait. It reminds me kind of of Reaction Innovation's Man Bear Pig. I'm a big fan of that bait. And when the Hog Walla came out, I was super stoked to see it hit the market. Six cents take on the old lizard creature bait. That watermelon red, that's a surefire staple right there. Gonna get it done in any water. It's a great way to kick off this month's Super Six Sack. I'm into it already. Let's see what else we got. This right here. Gonna be a major player coming up in these colder months. The Devon Swim Bait. This is the 3.8 inch Golden Shiner. I don't think I have this color yet, but I dig it. 3.8 is probably my favorite size for throwing on the back of a swim jig. That's a killer looking color right there. Two awesome soft plastics. Let's grab a hard bait out of here. What do we got? Boom. Crush Mini 25 MD. Last month it was the 25 X. This is the 25 MD. Medium diver, small profile though. Little finesse medium diving crankbait. What's this color here? Spanish pearl. The whites. The Walter White. Check it out. Boom. It's a medium diving crankbait that you don't need a heavy cranking setup to throw. You could even throw this on a spinning setup, get away with it. No issue. That's a little smoke show of a crankbait right there. Small profile, 50 millimeters. So this is even smaller than the Curve Finesse. To give you guys an idea, let me grab a Curve Finesse. So here's the Curve Finesse square bill. Just to give you guys a heads up, this is gonna be a little bit of a longer video. I'm gonna take my time, I'm gonna break it down, I'm gonna talk about everything I think of to talk about. I'm just gonna have a nice, chill, Friday night garage sesh video. I hope you guys are cool with that. We're gonna compare some baits, tackle talk, just have a nice, smooth, chill vibe. But check that out. There's the curve finesse right there on bottom. That's the 55 millimeter finesse square bill. Super small finesse square bill crankbait. But there up top, you can see five millimeter shorter. That's a medium diver. Like I said, guys, you don't need a heavy crank and set up to throw that top crankbait or the bottom one really, but still give you an idea of a size comparison. That medium diver, shoot, straight killer. I don't have enough of these, so stoked to see it in a sack this month. I'm gonna be up front with you guys. I've never actually thrown this specific bait, so I'm looking forward to tying that on. Give her, I'll give her a whirl. Let's keep rocking and rolling with this unboxing. Got a lot of stuff to show you guys. And next up, out of this month's Super Six sack, we got a Snatch 70X. That's that American Shad. Purple, gold, and chrome. Snatch 70X, smaller profile lipless crankbait. That's a killer for bait fish season, fall time right now. Got that nice red eye. Throw that thing up shallow, burn it around. Nice. Let's keep it moving. What else do we got? A Crush Flat 75X in Threadfin Shad. Come on now. That's tough to beat right there. I love this crankbait. I love the Crush Flat 75X, especially when it starts getting cold. That's a killer color. Sick looking crankbait right there. Flat sides. Got a little bit different action than your traditional square bill crankbait. A little bit wider, a little more hunty. And uh, yeah, I love throwing the Crush Flat 75X. Super fun way to catch them. I did a video last winter throwing the Flat 75X. Caught a lot of fish, had a blast. But wait, there's more. Let's see what else we got in the sack. The Devon Smoke. That's a cool color too. Quarter ounce Devon Swim Jig in Bluegill Fire. Check that out. The Bluegill Imitator, quarter ounce for throwing up there shallow. But wait, there's even more yet yeah, still in this month's Super Six Sack. Got some terminal tackle, nice little touch, jugular hooks, four aught, five of those bad boys. You can never have enough worm hooks. Six cents. High quality terminal tackle. They got everything. They got hook bundles with practically every type of hook you could ever need. They have tungsten, they have swivels, they got Carolina pre rigs, they have it all. So if you need some terminal tackle, Six Cents has you covered. Pack of jugular hooks. But wait, there's more still in this month's Super Six set. Let's check it out. A Crush 50X, my favorite square bill crankbait in a color that I don't currently have. That's the Shad Fantasy. Check that out. 
Awesome, let's bust this out. Looks really similar to that Threadfin Flat 75, doesn't it? Similar. I ain't mad at it. That's pretty slick. All right. Wow, so yeah, there's some killer value in the sack this month, guys. You got four hard baits. You got two soft plastics, swim baits, creature baits, terminal tackle, swim jig, chock full of heaters, heaters only from the six, you know the deal. Nothing but premium tackle in the Super Six Sack. If you guys are interested in checking out the Super Six Sack, if you want to sign up and get the heaters delivered directly to your doorstep every month, check out sixcentsfishing.com. Use my code JR10SUPER6. That's going to give you $10 off your first sack. It's a $50 plus value in the Super Six Sack. But if you use my code JR10SUPER6, you're going to get that first sack for like $26, $27. Bucks. Insane value. Come on, man. There's not any other bait subscription service out there that's giving you four killer hard baits like that with high quality, premium paint schemes and hardware, as well as all of these sick soft plastics, jigs, terminal tackle, super six sack, it's where it's at. Check it out, sixcentsfishing.com, JR10, super six, and get $10 off. But let's keep rocking and rolling with this unboxing. So moving on to the next part of this unboxing. It's been a while since I just hopped on six cents and placed an order for myself, so I did that. Hopped online, shopped around, filled my cart up with stuff that intrigued me, some stuff that I didn't have, some stuff that I needed, some stuff that I wanted, and it's all right here in this box. So we're gonna go ahead, cut into it, and take a look at what I got together. You know I use that JR10 for the win. JR10 at checkout on sixcentsfishing.com is gonna give you 10% off everything they have to offer. It's also an excellent way to support the channel. If you like what we got going on over here, if you enjoy my videos, Check them out. Shop Six Cents. Use my code JR10. Help us keep the lights on and the cameras rolling so that we can continue to bring you free fishing content here on YouTube. Thank you guys for all the JR10 support. Much love. I appreciate you. Got a box full of goodies here. You know I use that JR10 for the win. Let's see what we got first up out of the box. Something that I don't have, didn't have, but wanted. A Magnum spoon. I've never done any spoon fishing but I'm seeing some of my homies smash them on these big spoons. So I wanted to grab some six cents, make some really nice mag spoons. This is a big one, guys. This is a big spoon, two and a half ounce, 170 millimeter. Check that thing out, man. Maybe we could spoon for some big stripers. We got some really deep water, some huge stripers on my lake. I don't know. Like I said, never done any spoon fishing, but I grabbed a couple Magnum spoons. There's the other one that I got. This is the Shad Hammer, I believe is the color on this one. And that other one is Chrome Shad. Chrome Shad, Shad Hammer, a couple Magnum spoons. We'll see how that works out for us. Next up, they dropped some new colors in the soft plastics. I don't know if you guys saw this color right here. Really excited for it. But first up in the prawn, let's check this one out. This is the Green Pumpkin Blue Swirl. Brand new colors, just hit the site. Had to grab some. Mm, I got that smell, the smell of that smell. Ooh, the new plastic mix on the prawn, the updated prawns, the new ones. The action is so killer on these. Guys, you're gonna love these fresh prawns. Go get them if you haven't already. Check out the restock and check out these new colors. Green pumpkin, blue swirl, awesome. Pretty self-explanatory is a green pumpkin with a blue swirl. But that Pronica Lewinsky, that prawn John Silver, my favorite creature bait for flipping on a little four aught around some timber, some freaking grass mats. Psh. Good times with that prawn, John Silver. And that new color is a heater, but this one right here is the one I'm excited for. I've actually done really good on colors just like this in the past. This is that Alabama Craw. That orange mixed with that motor oil, green pumpkin. Yeah. Oh man, the new the new plastic mix. I'm telling you, the new. Oh yeah, made in USA right here, guys. These right here, the new soft plastics poured and made right here in the good old United States of America, and they are an improvement over the old mix. I can tell they're softer. The action's gonna be better, and these new colors are killer. So stoked on that, man. Shout out to the six, constantly improving. Stoked to see more and more of the products being made right here in the USA. 
I'm always happy to support American-made products and Texas-based companies, both good things. As you can see right there in the bottom corner, made in USA, excellent mix on these soft plastics, feel really good. They got a little bit of scent on there, smelling good, looking good. New colors are some heaters. Check them out, JR10 for the win. Let's keep it rocking and rolling. Just another nice little touch from the six. They put all the rest of my baits in this killer. Big, large size drawstring bag with the freaking bonefish on there. Blue, light blue, killer. Let's see what all we got in here, man. Place a little order. What is this? Squim jigs. That bloody shad. I saw that they had some more of the bloody shads in stock. Had to scoop. Shout outs to my buddy Josh Jones, always killing it on the bloody shad. This is a half ounce Devon swim jig, powered by Six Sense Lure Lab, made in the USA. Heaters only from the six, and that bloody shad right there is a doggone smoke show. I mean, it's a smoke show, dude. As soon as I saw that they had them back in stock, I had to grab me a couple. I'm always checking that site. You never know, man. Stuff will sneak up and pop up on you, and you'll miss it if you're not careful. A couple bloody shad squim jigs. Let's keep it rolling. What else do we got in here? Back to the spoons. Just the smaller one, the Devon Flutter Spoon. One and one quarter ounce, 4.75 inches. Basic, simple, chrome, four and three quarter inch Flutter Spoon. Right there, six cents fishing, boom. I got some big ones, I got some small ones. Let's keep it rolling. One more of those, that one's got the uh, Texturing, the pattern, scale pattern on there. Two big ones, two small ones. Good to go. My first ever flutter spoons. See if we can catch a fish on them. Stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see it. Next up, one of my favorite things on the boat, my Six Sense Titanium Fishing Line Scissors. I have a pair of these. They're on the boat. They still work great. Nothing wrong with them. But when I was on the website, I decided to go ahead and grab me a little backup. So now I got two just in case. Keep this one around here on the workbench or just have a backup set in the boat. Uh, they're priced right and they're high quality, so I'll grab me an extra set of scissors. Let's keep it rocking and rolling. Got some more swim jigs in here. I'm going to bust them out. Let's see what else I got. A couple more. This one right here caught my eye. You guys know I've been throwing the hobgoblin. This right here is the smoky goblin. Check that thing out. It's the hobgoblin with a little bit of green pumpkin, a little bit of like, just a little bit of darker and more natural, subtle, natural touch to it. I also have one of the lavender goblins right here so we can compare side by side, I'll show you what I mean. This one's a little more brighter, a little more bait fish look. This one's a little more natural, a little more gizzard shad look. Hopefully you guys can see the difference there. The smoky goblin, saw that one, couldn't resist it. There's just a couple more Devon swim jigs to add to the mix. Next up. You guys know, coming up on the colder months, it's about to be A-Rig season. I loaded up at the end of A-Rig season last year and I was pretty set, but I already know A-Rig gear is gonna get sparse and uh, I don't wanna be running out of jig heads. So I grabbed three packs of the eighth ounce Devon jig heads, a few different colors, sexified shad there in the middle, live shad over here, baby shad over there. And uh, yeah, just wanted to have a few extra packs because I know we're gonna be doing a lot of A-Rig fishing this winter and I don't wanna be running out of jig heads. In addition to those, painted heads also got a couple packs of just the unpainted, the Corex jig heads, just the lead heads there. Those are 1 8 ounce, three aught, four in each pack. So there's eight more hooks. We should be good to go on the A-Rigs. I have a bunch more terminal tackle. Like I said, pretty set at the end of last season, but wanted to go ahead. Grab a few more pieces of that terminal smoke. Make sure I don't get caught with my pants down. Now let's keep rocking and rolling. Looks like I have another Devon Swim Jig in here. Just one more of those lavender goblins. I don't want to be running out of that hobgoblin. So I snagged another one of those. Next up, let's grab a hard bait out of here. Cloud9 Mini Mag, larger profile square bill crankbait. Something that I don't have a lot of. So I grabbed a few. This one right here is the Cajun Bluegill. You guys know that color. I love that color. Got it in a few of the different hard baits that Six Cents offers. I got it in the Draw, I got it in the Trace, got it in the Crush 50, and now I got it in the Mini Mag. That's a beautiful color. Just a nice brown bluegill imitator. Orange belly, gold sides, brown back, black vertical lines. Beautiful detail, as always. High quality, extremely sharp black knuckle hooks and hardware. Ready to go. 
straight out of the box, six cents fishing, premium baits. You don't need to switch out anything. They're good to go. And I love throwing a square bill, so I wanna throw some more larger profile square bills. Grab me a few of these. Let's keep it rocking and rolling. Here's another one, this one right here. That sobs juice. That's Casey's color right there. Super heater. It's like a baby bass, Guadalupe bass, shad, all around, just straight killer. Look at it. It's got that dark green back, forest green back with the uh, scale pattern on top. Then you got the yellow with the live scales. Boom, look at the beautiful, just rainbow iridescence on those scales. White belly, bright red mean looking orange and red fire eyes such a killer bait right there man that cloud nine mini mag sb 3.8 square bill smoke in that sobs juice just keep it rolling got a couple more of these this one right here really natural that ghost thread fin not a lot going on really good in clear water though ghost shad scales so you saw the sobs juice i just showed you the ghost thread fin this right here is a hybrid of the two it's a mix of the Sobs Juice and the Ghost Thread Fin. This is the Ghost Shad Scales. I love it. I love, the, I love the creativity, man. You get all sectors of the spectrum covered. Just subtle little differences. They give you such a different look and allow you to cover all freaking bases. Look at that. From top to bottom. How bold do you want to be? How clear is your water? How subtle do they want it? Awesome. Three killer looking Magnum square bill crankbaits right there. Throw that bluegill in there. I'm talking about covering all the bases and home base and the outfield. That's left, I said left center. Let's keep it rocking and rolling here. What else do we got? Looks like I doubled up on the Smoky Goblin. One of those still left in the sack. One is none, two is one, three is some. Got me a couple of them. But wait, there's more. Still a couple more baits here in the set. Fall time, top water time, bait fish time. Two of my favorite top water baits right here. The Dogma 100 and the Catwalk. That Catwalk smoke, both of these are in a bone pearl color variation. Spanish bone and French bone pearl. There we go, man. There we go. That's the last two baits out of the box. And that's going to wrap up the unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me crack into all this tackle. There's your lost chad chad update no dice on the magnet or the scuba diver if you guys still want to see the footage of me going over there and standing around looking at bubbles coming up out of the water i guess i could share that with you go down in the comments let me know what you think i will also consider going back out there and dragging that magnet around probably most likely to no avail if that's what you want to see either way let me know thank you guys for hanging out with me in this one if you want to check out the super six sack check out six fishing.com use my code jr10 super six it's gonna give you $10 off that first sack. $50 value for like 27 bucks. It's an excellent way to build your tackle collection without having to leave the house and support the channel at the same time if you like what we got going on. Also, all the rest of this awesome stuff that you saw me open up is also available on sixcentsfishing.com at a discount, 10% off with code JR10. Thank you guys so much. If you use that JR10 code, shoot me a screenshot of that order confirmation and I will give you a shout out. I'll post that screenshot, tag your account. It's just a way for me to say thank you and give you some public recognition for helping us keep this whole thing running without you guys using that JR10 code. Well, honestly, the whole thing would probably fall apart. So thank you so much for the support. Thank you for hanging out with me here in this unboxing. I hope it wasn't too long-winded, but also a little Friday night, longer video. Nothing wrong with that. Babe, Friday night, boys. Also, what do you think of the new background? Yeah, I'm stoked on the new colors. Stoked on the new colors, man. This Alabama, this one right here, done really good on that. The new blend, the new soft plastics from the six being poured right here in the good old USA. I love it. All the jigs being made right here in America. Man, moving more and more products over here stateside. It's a good thing. Looking forward to getting out there and throwing the spoons. See if we can catch a giant. Babe, what's up? Yeah, I screamed at you. What's up? I'm wrapping up the video. Come be on camera. You tired? Wife is tired, doesn't want to be on camera. Edit, edit. Nope. Oh. You edit it. Oh. There's the wife. Look at how pretty she is. Yay. Why be on camera? She's tired. She doesn't want to be on camera. Very tired. Look at all this stuff. Super sick sack. Wait, where's the hobgoblin? Is you hold it, Yvonne. It's one of you. All right. So, to clarify, there is only one hobgoblin. This Lens. is something. Lens.
there to clarify. Lens. Oh, <laughs> there you to go. clarify, there is only one hobgoblin. This is not bloody shit. It. Look. You showing off the dice, babe? Oh yeah. There, oh yeah. We got this. this vacuum cleaner. Is so awesome. If you guys don't have one of these, you need one. So sick, dude. <laughs> Little cordless vacuum cleaner. Keep you guys dust free. What are we doing? What are we doing here? What's going on? Forgot I had this. All right, dudes. I gotta go edit this video, but I'll be back again really soon with a new video for you guys. I got some travel planned. I know a lot of you have been wanting to see me hit some different lakes. It's about to go down, so stay tuned, stay ready. I'll see y'all on the next one.